One of the things that people overlook is the fact that we can carve in a finished and sealed wood surface. This is a really beautiful piece of fiddleback maple. I have finished the surface first and then I did the stencil, outlined, traced it through the pattern, relief carved the back room, did this little semi-relief trough around the outside edge. This is stained and sealed and this is stained and sealed and then I came in and put the dark stain in the background so it was really easy to finish this thing. This is a pattern right out of a leather tooling book and all I did was score it on the surface so this makes a guitar, a violin, uh, any musical instrument clear up through a Steinway. This is carvable right on a stained and sealed and finished material and most of us just don't realize how effective that is when we're trying to do something that somebody wants personalized especially something that's all that makes every piece of wood ever made and finished and installed a potential vi I mean client not a victim a client <laughs> now I'm gonna see if you can kind of get it and understand what we're actually doing this is a, a Home and Garden magazine that featured a story about Craig Hone, the son of my first student, Keith Hone. Craig's been carving and power carving with us for about eight years now, and they featured his uh, $35,000 front door in this issue. But look what he did for a thank you gift to everyone involved. The photographer got one of these, the publicist got one of these, and the ed editors of the magazine and all he did was shape a piece of alder and then carve the exact same low how do you think he got that pattern from here to here guys and then he put his thank you on the back side of it as well done in his own handwriting now other tools the only other tool that can play here with this is a laser but the lasers are terribly expensive tools and we can duplicate anyone's handwriting grandma's handwriting in the lid of a cedar chest Grandma's granddaughter's handwriting, four-year-old to grandma on a piece of crystal. Just about any surface, any kind of engraving with ultra-high speed. And if you can trace a line, we can teach you to carve like a pro. This is Keith Hone. He's the school teacher that I told you about that's been friends with me for so many years now. And Keith started out doing cabinet work. And you can see here, this is actually an overlay. So that's been outline cut with a scroll saw. In this case, we've cut it with a laser to do a lot of them. We do a lot of these for training. You can get this from the company, and you can carve it on just a regular surface, or you can actually glue it on the cabinet door and carve it right in place. And with high speed, you can learn to shape this in a couple of days instead of weeks and months, and we can carve it on the finished existing surface just as fast. But this is Craig. This is Keith's son now, and this is the 8 inches of walnut. <laughs> is this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? I do have a few people say, well, you sure didn't carve that great big door eight inches of walnut with that little tiny tool. We have air pneumatic tools that are larger in scale, so when you're moving up into the furniture direction in these large scale things, we reduce it and shape it the same way you would always do, but we're doing it with pneumatic tools and high speed electric tools as well and then the power detailing is still done with the pneumatic ultra high speed handpiece. Craig's been at this about eight years now full time and is working on a 13 million dollar home right now. He's carving everything in sight for one individual client. Those are profitable hobbies. So if I start out with a pattern and I stick that template on any finished surface, glass, metal, stone or steel, once that pattern is stuck on, then I trace right through the lines and just score it into the material. And then we come back and relief carve it from there. This is a Rhea eggshell. It's about a six inch tall eggshell. It's just a gorgeous thing. But that's the pattern. And all I do is peel that stencil off in pieces and stick each of those little flowers all over the shell. And if you can see, I've actually can cut so thin, you can see right through the shell. This is a dramatic thing and is really a good one in the marketplace. This is Gary Roberts' work and he's one of the finer wood turners in the country and if you can produce something like that, look what the graphic art, graphic transfer does to this image if you stick the pattern down and then do the carving right through the surface. 
Keith's been the center of our advertising for a lot of years. You may have seen our ads in the woodworking magazine. This is Better Homes and Gardens Wood magazine. But Greg Woodard is also in our top fine, fine art carving world. He won the world title in 1992 as our first world champion with Cactus Flower. And uh, every feather and every vein and even the cactus needles are all carved wood. And when you're looking to carve at a higher range, then air turbines are really, really effective at that. So from everything on 440 tempered steel to an eggshell is quite a range for a, for a power carving tool. Darwin worked for a major national corporation for many, many years and finally retired and has a new book published about his carvings. He's carving just beyond, almost beyond belief because of the details of his carving ability. This is a carved wood saddle. It looks like leather, but this is carved and finished to a grade and to a degree that most people just can't hardly believe. This was grandma's lace that she, she did years ago, and Darwin's carved a copy of her, her glasses. And This is all a wood carving. And so when you begin to realize the range and capacity of really high-speed stuff, you're, you're headed into a whole new world, but boy, is it a great one.